Hi guys, uh, welcome to this upload today. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified anytime I want to do any uploads for you guys on this channel. Now, one thing is I want to actually say to you guys is even though with all these new guidelines that is coming in YouTube very very soon, I think it's we're a month away or is it tomorrow that it kicks in? I'm not quite sure. I personally want to actually say I will still make videos as long as it takes me to make videos, so be it. But, and as well, before I get on to my latest Blu-ray haul video, I just want to actually say to you guys, I'm finding it really tough to find films. Not because of being paid monthly, I have that problem, yeah, granted. Like most people probably have now. And I look at... Certain tiles that are in the charts I want to get, but they are too expensive at the moment. And as well, at the moment, I'm tr really struggling. It's always around Christmas time. I always struggle to find an eye for a bargain, you know, it, because everyone's getting physical media towards stocking fillers. And people say physical media is dying with all these on-demand services that are coming out. Like next year, we've got... Disney Plus, next year, I think we've got Fox Max or whatever it's called. I don't know if that's out in the UK next year. So it's an interesting time to be with the streaming side of things. But if you stream everything that you want to subscribe to, I'm not disrespecting the providers, don't get me wrong. I still love getting my physical media, as you see. But if people are doing every single streaming site that's going... It's just insane. It'll probably work out 100 to 200 pounds a month. And that's a massive feat to have. You've got, just say prime example from next year, you've got Disney Plus, you've got Amazon Prime, you've got Netflix, you've got Crunchyroll if you're into your anime, etc. You've got WWE Network like myself. I've got like Power Slam I subscribe to. They're the only two wrestling ones at the moment I subscribe to, other than Fight TV, towards obviously my AEW, so I can do my reviews afterwards. So that will be out on Thursday. Originally I was off on Thursday night, but now I'm off all day Thursday, which is a result in your box. So I'll be putting that review on my main wrestling channel. So you put all those, other than the ones that I subscribe to, let alone people are going to be paying Sky Movies, Sky Sports, etc. It's an expensive time for people for like TV, for internet providers. Even a new one here in the UK that's really got my eye on, even though it's five ninety nine a month, is BritBox. Because I, I would love to see the content. I've seen some of the people that have reviewed it within the past week. Looks interesting, don't get me wrong. But... I've already got some of that stuff on DVD, so what's the point? Which I'm transferring to Blu-ray. So if you know what I mean, it's a very expensive time to be people that are saying, oh, everything's going online, physical media is dying, when it works out cheaper if you're buying the physical media, so you get to keep it. You can watch it on your Blu-ray player or your DVD player, etc. So that's why I say when people say, what's the point? You can watch it online. You can stream it. Obviously, the illegal sites are free. Granted, I'm not here to promote that. I'm just saying for people that are saying that, you know, going forward towards the future aspect of it, that's why I prefer, and then I forget how much they charge for Apple TV, etc. You know, so there's so many providers out there, so... But it doesn't cover everything. But to get everything that you want, you, you're going to be spending about 100 to £200 pound a month. That's ridiculous. It's bad enough when you have to pay for the internet. You pay for it. You get my picture. But anyway, I digress on all that. But that's my thoughts and opinions on the recent stuff. And then obviously this time of year, I do find hard to find a bargain on a Blu-ray. But anyway, another wrestling haul video here. Now, this side, I did order these on my pay packet. They came last week, but obviously 
I had chocolate hours, guys. I was slammed at work, and today's the only time I got around to making this video. So, hope you can understand what why it's been delayed. So, this is why I normally pause the videos. The people behind this site packs these really damn well, and I know the UK based. Because quite rapidly they get it the order done within a week or two and then it's like you know. You know, with my job I can keep my mind off it. If I was unemployed, no disrespect to anyone that I'd be like wondering where the hell my order is. So right. I've got literally every volume now. Up to, up to date where they were up to. I'm hoping they do any more. Because quite honestly. This is just fantastic stuff. Obviously yeah, I've not got the DVDs out. I am putting them in the cases yet. Because they come packed like this. Solid as a rock. So intensely taped. As you might have gathered by already on my previous ones of these. So, this site's worth ordering from. Seriously. So, on volume 14, this one here, I've got 19 events. So, I've got TLC 2014, Royal Rumble 2015, Fastlane 2015, WrestleMania 31, Extreme Rules 2015, Payback 2015, Elimination Chamber 2015, Money in the Bank 2015, Beast from the East, oh yes, I'm glad that's included in this, because I knew they did a triple threat, but I'm glad that they've included this, you know, because quite honestly I've not got around to watching that event, because obviously it was on Japanese time and everything, crikey, to think how long ago that was already, Beast from the East, that's insane. How time's flying by, seriously, guys. And then I got as well on this volume, I got um, Battleground 2015, SummerSlam 2015, Night Champions 2015, Live from Madison Square Garden. I think that was the only one hour special they did, but it's nice to have this included because I was worried if they were just going to just do the pay per views and that's it. The, the one catch with these sets are there's no pre-show, but you can understand why there's no pre-show. Because, quite honestly, you won't fit as many events on there. And sometimes, I'm not being funny, the matches, yeah, granted are great on the pre-show sometimes. But I don't want to see like an hour worth of Rene Young, Booker T and Jerry the King Lola talk about professional wrestling. Hey, if I want to do that, I'll be doing that on my other YouTube channel. Cheap plug, cheap plug. But I'll, I'll watch it over YouTubers. That's where they got the idea from. Not because they wanted to do it. It's because they copied everyone here on YouTube talking about professional wrestling at its prime from like 2010, 2011. Then it progressed from there. Then all of a sudden they copied everyone else's idea. I can't remember when WWE didn't have a YouTube channel. Then when people started to put clips up of the show, oh, fuck it, we'll do it ourselves. You know, it was that sort of scenario. Anyway, back to this one. Hell in the Cell 2015, Survivor Series 2015, TLC 2015, Royal Rumble 2016, Fastlane 2016, Roadblock 2016. Oh, yes. That never got an re official release on Blu-rays. All I can say is this. Another cheap plug towards this site. They've actually got the ones that weren't released in 2016 on Blu-ray. They've actually got a, um, these singular. But I'm glad they included these in this, this set. You know, because it's great to have as well. And they put a few extras if you buy the event separately. But... To chocker all those events, 19, on that volume alone. And it runs for 54 hours and 
54 hours and 45, 43 minutes, sorry, on six great discs. 19 events on that one. Unbelievable. Then we're going for this colour. It looks like a brown. I could be wrong. It reminds me of when I had a nosebleed and it dried on the tissue. <laughs> so, on this one, we've got 18 events. One's for 61 hours and 20 minutes. So, I've got 18 events. These are fucking chocker. Seriously, I hope they do keep continue making these the most value and tip off they are working on tna ones i'm hoping for the new year i'm hoping the people behind this site gets my pay-per-views up to date you know because these are great sets and they're worth picking up if you don't want to risk your kids touching them let alone anyone touching them so like instead of buying official ones i'm I'm just encouraging people to buy off this site, you know, because they work so hard on these. So this set, starting off the bat with WrestleMania 37, Payback 2016, Extreme Rules 2016, Money in the Bank 2016, Battleground 2016, SummerSlam 2016. Battle Lash 2016, Clash of Champions 2016, No Mercy 2016, Hell in the Cell 2016, Survivor Series 2016, TLC 2016, Roblog End of the Line. Did they actually do another one in 2016? I can't remember. I, can't remember. I think that's the one I was on about, the one when they don't have a proper release. Or was it 2017, that one? Either way, t t tell me your thoughts on that one. And then, Royal Rumble 2017, Survivor Series 2017, Fastlane 2017, WrestleMania 33, Payback 2017. These two great sets here of many volumes that I've got. I've got like all 15 so far that have released. I'm probably selling these. You know, they're up for sale now on the website. £40 each. And, and then contact them. And then buy from them. Because they're worth buying. You know, not everything was released on onto Blu-ray. And by the looks of it, next year is going to be just stuck on pay-per-views. For the official releases. And I'm like... You can tell how bad WWE's got. And uh, another thing that I've actually made for myself, not for sale, is AEW's pay-per-views. I recorded those off um, ITV box office to put in my collection because AEW has not released anything yet. But I've got them on five events, two discs. Great value. You know... If anyone is interested, contact me. No, not really, not really, guys. But it's just, it's just mind blowing, you know. Every time when I see these sets, when I get them, when I see them up for sale, and I'm like, yes, I'm picking these up. I've collected these for the past year, I think now, and they still blow my mind every time. You know, granted the WWE ain't that great at the moment, but it's great to have a bit of nostalgia. They've got WCW on there, they've got Monday Night Raws, they've got Smackdowns, they've got everything. To say when I got a tip off from the people that run that side, they are working on TNA box sets as well. I'm like, I'm buying, I'm buying, I'm buying. You know, every. Every time I pick up two, 80 quid's worth. It's a bargain. It's absolutely a bargain. You know. I've still not got around to watching Crown Jewel from this year. I'll probably watch it on my next day off. Probably on Thursday. And record that part of the view. And then add it to my Survivor Series review. Like I promised people on my main channel. You're more than welcome to check, my, check out my reviews on there. But anyway guys. 
Thank you ever so much for tuning into this video. And remember, if you do support this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified anytime when I do any videos for you guys here exclusively on YouTube.com. Catch you guys soon for another video. Thanks guys for tuning in.